It can be called roselle leaves, sour leaves, or ngai ngai. It is largely consumed in the DRC, loved by its people, and famously known for its sourness. Hi, Tasty Tribe. Welcome back to Makusaville. My name is Naomi. I share cooking videos, and today we're making roselle leaves and mackerel fish. Please fasten your seat belt because this one, mm -hmm, another delicious dish. As always, I don't need too much ingredient. And this is mackerel fish. I have a video already on my channel on how to gut and clean mackerel fish. I'm going to leave a link for you at the description box below. This is sour leaves or ngai ngai or roselle leaves. First thing first, I will boil roselle leaves until it's soft. In the meantime, I'm gonna gut and clean the fish off camera, but I'm gonna rinse it with you guys. When cooking roselle leaves and the fish this way, the rinsing part is very crucial. You cannot skip it. We are going to remove the slime on the fish skin and other dirty things that are found in the fish. Now, for this rinsing part, you will need lukewarm water. Make sure that your water is not too hot, otherwise you're going to ruin the fish taste and texture. And if it's cold, it won't be able to remove the slime on the fish skin. So please fill your water, it must be lukewarm. Meaning that you are able to put your hand inside the water for long. Videos will be uploaded every second week and sometimes it will be uploaded weekly but it's only going to be on celebration month like uh, in December we have Christmas Day, in February we normally celebrate Valentine's Day, uh, Mother's Day month, Father's Day month, you know so on this month I will be sharing with you special recipes and that's only if I have them. If I don't have videos will be dropping every second week as you can see for yourself the fish is even shining My Tasty Tribe, if you're enjoying the video so far, please push that like button so that we are well referenced on YouTube. In a large pan, I'm going to fry onion, add the green pepper, And the tomatoes let it fry for some few minutes without stirring until the tomatoes releases its own juice and dries up then we'll come and stir it The tomato mixture is done. I'm gonna pour it in the pot where I'll be cooking the leaves and the fish. And I'm also going to pour the roselle leaves together with the sauce. Stir it, add water, and let it boil for 20 minutes or until the sauce is set. You will just see for yourself that, you know, the sauce is cooked and set. And then you can add your fish. Now 
guys i am assuring you that this dish is very delicious you really have to try it i'm sure you'll come back with the feedback especially that sourness kick from the leaves omg it's very very nice I don't know about you guys, but this is how I stir my pot when I'm cooking any fish. Please make sure that you do not put a spoon when cooking a pot of fish. Do not do that. Otherwise, the fish is going to scatter in the pot. Mm-mm-mm, it smells divine. Oh, guys, look at this. It's beautifully done. It smells divine. It tastes amazing. Ibongo elengi moko izao. OMG. Guys, please try it. This goes down well with fufu. I don't know uh, if you're gonna have it with makemba, I mean plantain, or kwanga, but this dish for me personally, <laughs> it goes well with fufu. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. It's always a privilege to have you watching my channel. I do really appreciate it and I do really appreciate your time. Please support the channel by liking the video so that we are well referenced on YouTube. Please share the video to your friends and family. Until next time, I am signing out. Thank you and goodbye.